Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Battle. If you've been enjoying the Flash content so far, if you've been enjoying all of the Brood War casts I've been putting together, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see Brood War live forever, hit the like button as well. Give it a little love tap for me. We've got Flash spawning here in the top center is the yellow Terran. And in the bottom right, somehow again, I don't know how this keeps happening. Always brown. We've got best. Brown, it just seems to pop up in almost every game. How is it not? Look, look at the... Look at this. Is that not brown? I think that orange is definitely banned on this map. If you try to play it in custom, you cannot select orange. But somehow, in matchmaking, you can get brown. And it just doesn't make sense with the background here. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. We got red Terran now versus blue Protoss. That I just thought I'd highlight. Like, would there ever be a, a situation where Blizzard would actually make a quality of life change like that? Where they would make brown, you know, less picked in... Like, they could still leave it as an option for a custom match. But just, just take it out when you're playing online. It's so hard to see on the minimap, honestly. Makes my job as a caster a lot harder. But I digress. Just Blizzard complaints. Like you haven't heard enough of them or felt enough of them yourself. We've got Best sending out his first probe here. He's going for a pretty normal expansion. This might be a gasless fast from Flash, which is interesting. You guys are probably getting tired of watching um, Flash Protoss versus Terran or Terran versus Protoss. Uh, but I guess you clicked on this video, so you can't be too tired of it yet. We'll see how this does in the algorithm. It's not like I'm trying to find Flash uh, TVP games. It's just that a lot of great series have been played recently. And this should be no different. We've got Best, who is round or <laughs> square peg round hole man. He is just crazy, crazy good at making things work that really shouldn't with shuttles and... Templar, Reavers, that type of thing. Uh, mostly Gateway units, not even the Reavers so much. It's just Zealot, Dragoon, Speed Shuttle with a few Templar mixed in. It's crazy how much this guy can do uh, with just those few units. And it's wild how hard it is right now for Flash to handle that. We saw it versus Motive. I'll put a link on the top right of the screen, or maybe I'll throw it in earlier. Uh, between... Motive and Flash, how difficult it was for Flash to fight against Motive in that style. He was really having a, a very difficult go of it. Uh, and with good reason, you know, he's not used to the way that Protoss players are uh, doing it these days. He's just not used to it. He's having a hard time. Let's see what kind of adaptations he can pull out uh, in this series. We've got the Nexus coming down. It's a little later than the Command Center, of course. But we can take some tax. As per usual, Protoss player going to be taxing this Terran. He hasn't run by to check and see if there was a CC or not, but I think he knows pretty much 100% that it's a CC behind this. He saw no, or that there was no gas early on. And he threatened to steal it. Forcing Flash to actually build that gas. So, no doubt from that information, he knows that there's no way we could have a two factory play. Even though there are two factories on the way now. Not a all-in two factory play because you just don't have the gas early on to do that. And so he's fairly confident that this is, in fact, a gasless fast expand and that's what we've seen there's the tax i i was told that this is actually not as significant of a tax as uh, i imagined uh previously it's like two minerals uh per shot from the dragoon to repair that plus of course the lost mining time of the scvs and that's really what damages you pretty badly it's like 
60 minerals per minute, something like that, that the uh, SCVs can return. Depends on the saturation, of course, and which patch they're on, but uh, that's really harming his, his economy right now. And look at that. Same exact build so far from Flash as we've seen almost every game. He's not doing uh, any sort of pressure with this tank. He's not coming out here and trying to hit the Dragoons or anything. He's got the very defensive tank way at the back with early siege mode going into care on boosters now gonna have goliaths out in high numbers pretty darn soon where's this robo okay there it is funny to see the robo in the natural but he's gonna have a reaver out in a moment and let's see what kind of damage he can do with that third base coming up as well it's a pretty quick third base with the reaver he doesn't have a lot of army but you know we're not gonna be pushing out anytime soon as flash anyway he's getting into his defense setting up a lot of drag or a lot of goliaths around the main base making sure that he is ready for the incoming shuttle let's see what happens here with this shuttle is he actually gonna fly in okay he does drop first shot for this reaver does get a kill can he pick up? Ooh, great pickup there. No damage on that Reaver thus far. Hot pickup. Keeping that alive. But the shuttle is relatively hurt. We do have to be careful with this thing now. Only takes a few shots from these Goliaths. I don't know how many, but definitely less than eight. It's got to be like six, maybe four shots left on this. They got to be really careful with that thing. <clears throat> that is all the defense that Best has right now besides these Dragoons. One, two, three, four, five factory. And he's going to shut down the Observer. Very nice. Six factory. So this is uh, a nice adaptation from Flash. This um, is good to see. We don't have... Well, it's a little bit early for a starport, but I don't think we're going to be going for that early starport play. Looks pretty clear that we're going to go for some sort of crazy push coming up very soon. We're going to try and end this man. More gateways are coming up, but the timing will be real. Right as he's Preparing to, to leave the base. Starting to build up this turret count. Probably leave one tank in here. Just in case there's a dive with the shuttle. Shuttle's rotating around towards the natural. But pretty well defended over there. Especially with that floating barracks. Just make sure. Maybe he'll come in through this angle. That could be successful. Like speed is done on this shuttle. See what kind of damage he can do with this. This is right as Flash is moving out. He's just pushing forward. And these Reavers are going to come in. He could target down the armory. Which would actually be massive. He's gotten a few kills thus far. Bails out before the Goliaths uh, even get close to this. We're going to have to see a turret over here. Otherwise that could just keep happening over and over again. Flash is just going to start to push forward. He's lost quite a few SCVs though. Let's see if he can still make this work. With just 38 SCVs, he's cutting SCVs, not making any more. And going with this massive push. Let's see. Where is the shuttle? There it is. Backing up right now. Eight zealots are on the way. Flash is hitting a pretty good timing right now. Plus one is just about done. I see one scarab shot, but... Pulls everything else back. Just a slow creep forward right now. Wants to try and get in range of either the Observer or the Shuttle. He does get the Observer, which is nice. Makes it a lot harder for the Reavers to stay just barely out of range of these tanks. Slowly pushing forward. I, I gotta say, Flash is doing a really good job of this so far. But let's see if Best has bought enough time to just break this wide open. He's gonna drop the reavers but great target there 
really fantastic target. There's, I think, enough zealots. Or, I think, enough uh, vultures to handle all of the zealots. However, now that the zealot rallies are getting on top of these tanks and the vultures are dead, it's kind of looking like a best hold. Most of the tanks have gone down. The dragoons are still pushing forward. This tank is going to be targeted. Some more mines get thrown down. I think that best has done it. He's managed to stop this push. And there's not a whole lot behind this. There's no third base for Flash. He's lost all of his tanks. He's just in an all-around very, very difficult spot. Best has done it. Dude, it's crazy how good the Protoss players have uh, become in this matchup. And how much Flash is struggling uh, to figure this out. Ooh, that mine! Oh, wow. What a mind connection there. But unfortunate for best. Oh, thought we we're going to see another one. That was really darn close. Another Reaver going to pop out. High ground being taken away by, uh, by Flash. But just two tanks at a time. I mean, you're never really going to hit that critical mass of tanks that can just wipe out an army like this. Best can push forward through everything and pretty easily shove you back. So command center is going to start on Flash's side of the map. He needs to buy some time so that he can get into a late game. It's going to be tough, though. Getting into late game from here is no easy task. GG is called Flash taps out. That's kind of what I was expecting after failing this push. He's not going to stick around and try to play it out. Best takes a quick first victory. Hey guys, Neon Marble Rust is back with a new visual update and gameplay changes. If you haven't seen it before, this is a brand new RTS made by fans of Brood War and this channel. They are looking to recreate the old school RTS feel with an interesting twist. You will manage a complicated economy with many different resources using automation and upgrades as you bring together a strategy to overwhelm your opponent. The game is completely free to play, and my link to their stream page is in the description of the video. Thank you to everyone who supports me by downloading the game, and thank you to Neon Marble Rust for helping to keep the dream alive. Now back to the video. Okay, moving on to game number two. We've got Best here in the top right-hand corner. Flash in the top left. I don't know if I mentioned that this is going to be a series, but it is. We're going to have a bunch of games here between Best and Flash. I knew it was something I had to cover. As soon as I saw this series, I was like, well, I mean, we got to know. How is Flash going to handle this? How is he going to adapt? He just played against Motive and got his little cheeks clapped. And of course, versus Snow, it seemed like he had a slightly better handle on the matchup. Although, of course, he still lost. But how is he going to handle Best? I mean, what Best does is basically what Motive does, but on steroids. He just does it better. Like, he really does do it the best. He's the best at that style, living up to his namesake. And so, Flash is definitely going to struggle here, I think. This time going for a gas. Right after his barracks. So, not going to be another gas as fast expand. He's been experimenting with that so much. But it really doesn't seem to have worked out very well. It's not, it's not going his way, that's for sure. Some gas being mined, no zealot, no scout. This will be like a 22, 23 nexus. Something like that from best with just a couple dragoons on the map to control space. This is a super normal opener for best. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing crazy. If you are a ladder Protoss or you're planning to play uh, Protoss on the ladder. This is a build you could copy. 
and you'd be relatively safe in the early game and have a pretty strong counter to whatever's going on. You could maneuver this into a decent game, no matter what the Terran player is doing. He gets the range. He gets the goon. And Flash is pulling off of gas. Interesting. Zero SCVs mining that gas. For eons. I can remember SCVs being pulled off of gas. Not all of them, though. This seems like a kind of a new newer optimization. I don't know what um, the reason is that they're doing that now. Maybe because the prevalence of Vulture expand is there. Mining exactly 100 gas and then building the factory and not mining anymore and then putting three back on after the CC starts. It's interesting, right? Why not just leave one on the gas? Well, I guess it just works out a little bit better, right? He's got exactly 50 for this. Well, he had like 60 there for his machine shop. I, it lines up pretty nicely. I like to see the optimizations there. Maybe he gets the command center just just a teensy bit faster. That is a possibility as well. Only one Marine in this bunker. That's another optimization there. He cancels the Marine. He starts the Marine and he cancels it. He wants best to think that there's going to be more Marines in there than there actually is. But that could come back to bite him, right? If he just... He saw that there was one Marine in the bunker. If he thinks that you're really skipping, he could go for a bust. They could make some Zealots. Uh, and a Reaver. And a Shuttle. And just fly over here. Drop the Reaver. Start hitting the bunker. Run up with the Dragoons. Start hitting the bunker. Or what you can do is line up all the Dragoons. Hit the bunker. And then when the... Or when the uh, SCVs are repairing. You drop the Reaver and just kill every SCV. Uh, and then just target the bunker. And then you can kind of break through the front. Let's see if... Uh, that's in the game plan here for best. One vulture out on the map. Does get mines upgraded. It's going to be able to throw down some pretty nice mines here in front of best space. That's really going to prevent a lot of stuff. Oh, a Templar archives. Interesting. So we're going to have a DT game here out of best. And I don't see anything for flash. Well, we've got an engineering base started back at home. This is actually a DT drop. That's wild. That is crazy. I'm going to flank this with one Dragoon. I'm just going to walk into a mine. We just lose that straight up. Oh my gosh. 2 HP. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, he gets the tank though. Kind of huge. Kind of a wild early game. The tank going down and all the Dragoons falling. Just one vulture is going to do so much damage. We'll be able to surround, it looks like, and kills both harassing units. That was pretty decent. Probes will get back to work and more dragoons are going to pop out here soon. I would like to see him just wall this. Because all he needs to do is buy time. And he doesn't have money to do it right now. But if you just build a couple of pylons and a gateway... Then this couldn't happen. <laughs> Would be kind of nice. Um, the DTs are going to come in. They're going to start to land in the main base. Let's see how much damage they can do. Two dragons pop out. They're going to get hit by... Oh, oh, oh my god. Ouch. All right. The DT is going to work in the main. Looks like the main is just going to be completely screwed. But best taps out. Wow. All right. He taps. I guess he just... Didn't really have anything for the defense. Dude, if he had built, I swear, one pylon, one gateway, he could have easily won this game. Because those, the tank and two vultures would have taken a long time to punch through uh, one, even just one pylon. And then you get your two goons out and you can start to hold that. That is unfortunate because there is really nothing back at home here for Flash. He had one turret. No, he had two turrets. One there, one there. So the DT drop was going to do infinity damage. Infinity damage in the main base. 
He was going to kill, you know, the armory. Artosis meme. Infinity damage in this main base. But he didn't block the natural. I mean, you gotta know best. You have to know that there's more stuff coming. After all of that exchanging, after all the dragoons died, there's gonna be vultures. Like, who are we kidding? Who just sits back at home after that? You, you're gonna run across the map and try to deal some more damage. Anyway, that's it. We're gonna jump into our next game. Best takes a loss here. That one mine was so big. Killing all the probes. Maybe that was what uh, prompted him to leave this game. He knew he was going to lose a lot more as well. But let's jump into our next one. Hey, so Flash was able to snag a cheapy, cheeky, cheapy, cheeky win there. Off of best. It really should have gone best way though. Um, I don't know what we chopped that up to. That's uh, Protoss brain or something. I have no idea. But kind of a throw from best. Anyway, a reasonable aggressive play from Flash. He did have turrets back at home. He still would have gotten wrecked by the DT drop. But if it was just pure DT coming across the map, he could have easily held it. So he, he did have some DT defense. He was prepared for that as a possibility. But the DT drop was a little bit outside of his... Uh, preparation. You can't prepare for everything, right? If you're going to put on a bunch of aggression, if you prepare for everything back at home as well, you're just not going to have the muscle to do anything to the Protoss player. Your aggression is just not going to work out. So, you know, you got to cut something and it turned out to be the wrong thing to cut, but or it turned out that the, the aggression was outside of what he had prepared for, but in the end, he still manages to get the win, and that's what matters. Learned a little bit about Best as well. What his reactions are uh, in certain situations. And we'll be better prepared to fight him in the future, including in this game, which is looking like sort of a gasless fast expand, except he took his gas to make sure that Best couldn't steal it. So, we're going to have that fast command center. But with just a slightly quicker gas. And no bunker here just yet. When he gets in with the SCV, he sees that the uh, Dragoon has started. We'll be popping out in just a moment. Going to go ahead and drop that bunker in the front. Let's see how many Marines he cuts once again. Is he just just going to stick on one Marine? I feel like it's so greedy, but he's been getting away with it. One Marine in the bunker is begging to get broken. But if the Protoss player can't see, because they can't just click on it and see how many Marines are in there. They, ha they have to like walk in range and then see how much DPS is going or like how many things are getting attacked or listen to the sound of how many Marines are attacking and kind of try to decipher that, oh, that's just, you know, two Marines or one Marine or four Marines. It's pretty easy to tell when you get in, in range of the bunker, especially to someone who's played as much as best has. But if he never does get in range of that bunker, he'll never know. And Flash will get away with making the absolute skimpiest defense in the early game that you can possibly do. And it looks like it's probably going to be the case here once again. We've had a couple of very quick games. I'm hoping to get a reasonable macro game out of these two. Uh, in this series, one more Marine does pop out. He jumps in the bunker. So at least he's not going absolute total greed. But the tax is coming off the top, right? His paycheck is being... Uh, stolen here by the Protoss. And I say stolen because, yes, taxation is theft. Thank you, guy in the chat. Guy in the comments who said that. It is true. We've got more Dragoons piling across the map. And 
Let's see. With the Reaver coming. Are we going to go into a dre uh, Goliath defense once again? <clears throat> Excuse me. Siege tank, siege mode, the first research once again from Flash. Straight on into Goliath. I'm sensing a bit of a methodology emerging here from Flash in the way that he's playing against these Protoss players. Something that you at home could copy. If you're going to play it, Terran on the ladder. You can just see this. This is sort of emerging right now. Flash's play is evolving. You can see the timing on the armory. The double uh, Goliath production. Well, it's not two right now, but I'm sure there's going to be two in just a moment. Uh, instant Charon boosters right after the siege tank. No vultures, if you'll notice. Uh, if you go ahead and watch any other Terran player on the ladder right now, they are going to be doing a Vulture Expand. Vulture Expand is what is strong right now against Protoss. Uh, and that's why we see so many players utilizing it. It's just a very good, solid build. It allows you to put pressure on the Protoss, get out on the map, force them back, put mines behind their units, do stuff like that. Um, and put, yeah, just put the pressure onto the Protoss. But here, as you guys can see, Flash just full on defense mode. He's trying his absolute best to stop anything that best tries to pull out. But he's really having a hard time because the Protoss player is allowed to do whatever they want, whenever they want. One tank going to go down? No. All the tanks do survive. A few SCV kills. No, did he even get any SCVs? Maybe like one or two. This is a very decent defense from Flash. Good targeting onto the Reaver and getting the Goliath in range over and over again of that shuttle, making sure that he tracks it down and shoots it down. Really well played by him. He's going to go after the Observer too. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that down. Does manage to spot the six factory follow-up though. That is really, really big from Best. Just knowing that, that that's coming is going to make a world of difference. You can start to add on a big number of gateways. It's going to be the same sort of build in this game as in the Apocalypse game. But with less damage having been done by Best with the, with the shuttle. Like last time, he flew in. He did a little damage. He flew out. He flew back in. He did a little damage. He flew out. And then he still had the Reaver and shuttle. Uh, to help him in the fight. But here, he's lost the Reaver and Shuttle. He's done hardly any damage. There's still a good tank count from Flash. All of his tanks have been preserved. All the SCVs have been preserved. The 42 SCVs rather than, what was it, like 38? When he finally started to move out, if I remember correctly. So, this is a much better opening for Flash. This has gone a lot better for him. Let's see if Bess can still hold the push. If it's going to be possible. We don't have a shuttle. Check around the map here. Make sure that's that's actually true. Yeah, I don't think we have a shuttle. No shuttle. Just some observers. A lot of gateway units to fight this back. He's got to buy time for leg enhancements. If he's not going to be fighting um, with shuttles... And Reavers. How are you ever going to fight this army without leg enhancements? You need that Zealot speed upgrade so badly. I'm going to run forward here. Try to snipe a tank. Gets one for free. Backs away before the siege mode comes into play. Very well done by Best. Getting some free pot shots. I mean, you can't ask for better. You can't ask for more here. So... Doing this excellent backing up with the goons is buying him a lot of time. And leg enhancements will finish. Maybe even plus one will finish as well. Uh, we do have plus one now done for Flash. So he's pushing here on a good timing. He's going to really put the pressure on now. Getting closer and closer to best. Some of the tanks are in the background. Not quite in range of this fight. But they're going to help out with the dragoons that are on the flanks. Zealots are making their way into the front lines. 
but the tanks are doing a great job of target firing the goons in the back line and the vultures are actually cleaning up all of these zealots at the front the tank count has been reduced pretty significantly though and there's still quite a few zealots popping out to be able to take this next fight vultures laying down mines as they should more zealots popping out seven dragoons two zealots about to pop here looping around a little bit maybe thinking of getting in the way of the reinforcement line maybe heading into uh do a counter attack let's see what he wants to do some vultures over here are going to deny mining that is a big move oh zealots are actually being forced back on this flank just a little bit of a contain right there and the probes are under threat one cannon is on the way but this is looking bad for best he's having a very hard time clearing this out and he's not mining over here he's still got 800 minerals so he will be able to make a lot of zealots to try and break this a little bit later on but he's being pushed back once again let's see if he can take this fight dragoons are going to take the brunt of the attack from those tanks the zealots running into the front can he get on top of these mines if he gets on top of these mines and drags them into the tanks oh beautiful mine drag there but a lot of the zealots do end up dying uh, a lot of the zealots die to those mines so he doesn't actually have the raw number of zealots he needs to break through any longer the buildings here being a real nuisance forcing a lot of these attacks from the dragoons to just be useless but jumping on top of the tanks now it's almost looking like best has held this it's really looking close gotta right click through these mines but not able to get on top of the tanks with those Fighting still here with Dragoon Zealot. Flash is trying to push forward some more, but Zealots are going to run out, immediately start to target down these dragon or these tanks. If he gets the tanks, all he needs is a few more Dragoons to pop, and he will be fine. Nine Dragoons are about to pop out here. Nine. And he can almost get back to mining. Oh, no, he can't. He's actually going to maybe lose power on this uh, cannon, unfortunately. Vultures running in, trying to lay some mines, trying to deal some free damage here. And Zealot's going to jump on top of those mines and shut that down. This cannon still holding up for now, but he actually needs to build another cannon over there. Otherwise, he's going to lose power. Dragoons fighting here in the natural. This is a desperate defense for best. He's been really harmed by the fact that he hasn't been able to mine from that third base. Uh, if only he had put a few cannons over there. Uh, initially, he wouldn't have had this problem, but Flash has been pulling him apart by just forcing him not to mine at that location. He's done a huge, huge amount of damage uh, to the defense of Best by just simply denying that mining. Another tank going to go down here. The rallied push of Flash across the map. Uh, it looks to be slowing down now. I don't think he can actually break everything. Bess is going to get down here and maybe, just maybe, save his Nexus. What a crazy thought. Is he actually going to save this right now? Yes, he is. And he can finally get back to mining now. But he's starting to lose control of this area. Another round of units is about to pop out. Just in time to stop Vultures from running in here. But these small contingent of Zealot Dragoon is actually stuck on this high ground. Let's see if he can clear everything. He does have a couple more Zealots and a few Dragoons on this high. It's kind of crazy that he's holding on right now, but he is still holding strong here. One more shot. He gets that last tank. That is wild. Oh, this mine. That mine, if it had connected, would have done immense damage. Another tank goes down over here. That tank going to finish off the third uh, Nexus though and with that Nexus going down I mean he should likely be able to, to stop this but all the probes are probably gonna fall oh well I guess the probes will come out to fight this is crazy guys this is such a wild game uh, we're just having a really wacky nutty tug of war between these two and I'm not sure how it's going to end. We've still got five more zealots popping out. Dragoons are being shoved back, but it's not the greatest. Fighting just pure uh, dragoon with pure vulture. And he... Okay, he does eat some mine hits there. 
but clearing out even more. He's shoving Flash back again. How is Flash doing on minerals? He does not have much. He's running low. He may have to, you know, build another base pretty soon. He's doing a decent enough job of killing dragoons that he can start to push things back. He really needs to get in over here and shut down this base, but he can't really do so while, you know, fighting desperately here in the middle of the map. Another couple of tanks are coming forward. Vultures are trying to lay mines, but they're way out of range of the tanks, so the dragoons can just shoot them down. More dragoons are going to pop out. This nexus is going to finish soon. And Flash is now out of money. I mean, he's just so close to running out. It's not quite there yet, but it will be in just a moment's time. There's three tanks to fight. Oh, oh my God. What? What happened there? These probes being transferred actually live. I thought those were dead 100%. My goodness, that was crazy. We need some pylons over here because Flash could absolutely send vultures around the side and deal a huge amount of damage. So he's got to get down there. Put something over here to block this. It looks like he will. The vultures trying to run by. Not going to happen, Best says. He blocks that out. <laughs> Third command center starts for Flash. What an insane game. This one is for the books, guys. This is a wacky, wacky game. The six factory push was so close to working, but it seems like it has just barely failed in this. And yeah, he can't get on these dragoons. He's doing a very good job of running forward and trying to get the mines right next to the dragoons but he's doing an even better job best is of just backing up and targeting the mines so it doesn't look like that's gonna work and the goon count is getting high once again the overall supply is very similar right now but it's a little bit de deceptive oh we do have plus two now all right, so he gets plus two. Flash has six factories. He's got plus two and or plus one, and he's getting two two or two one on the way. No, he start he did do one uh, armor, right? So yeah, two two is on the way now. I don't know how he afforded that. <laughs> That's crazy to me that he actually had the money to be able to pull those out, but he somehow gets two two started and. Best is looking to get another base down. He needs more bases. Can't just be on even bases while Flash is sitting here pumping upgrades. Because eventually he's going to have, you know, similar... He's, he's already at similar supply. So eventually he's going to hit, you know, 160. And if you're not, you know, 200, 200. And he comes out here with a 2-2 two, two timing. And, uh, you know, 160 supply. Ugh, it's going to be scary. You're probably just going to die. You need to have uh, more income so that you can max out a bit faster. And so that's what he's going to do. Is he going to get up onto another base as quickly as possible. And maybe even take this base down here as well. Does need to move the dragoons out a little bit. It is important to get those uh, active on the map. You know, clear some of these mines over here. Make sure he's right in front of the Terran Natural as well. Uh, when the Terran starts to push out, we want to be able to dive on that right away. Flash pulling every tank. I love it. Like, it, it sucks if you get counterattacked right now, but hey, you need to make this work. This is this is a very uh, crazy game. The situation. You don't even know where you're kind of at uh, on the curve right now, but he's just going to bring everything with him and spread out in the middle. Lay some mines over here to make counterattacks a little bit less likely. And start to push and see what he can do with this 125 supply. He's got even a science vessel here at the front. But Storm just finished and we've got a few Templar. Can we get over and storm this stuff? That's a great spread of tanks. Is Flash going to take the middle next? I think that's a big possibility. We are floating the main. Oh, that's so funny. Depleted. Everything is gone in the main base. So might as well float this out to the uh, be the fourth. 
in the center, but Bess is setting up for a wide angled attack. Let's take a look at the upgrades right before this attack commences. 1-1, one, one. we've got plus two just about done uh, for both sides. Plus two, two for flash and plus two attack is about to be done. So I think that actually favors flash waiting for that to finish is going to be better for flash here. Um, he thinks about taking this engagement, but uh, I don't think we want to push through here. Maybe take another base in the bottom left or something. Might be a better choice. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's just unfortunate. I think the best tried to get everything to move along here. But just didn't end up working. He's going all the way around right now. Sending everything through this bottom side. Did, did Flash just scan that? He just scanned right here. He's actually coming around. Handling that pretty well. Putting down some mines on this side. Best is going to try and crack through here. Some tanks are coming down, but Flash actually needs to move everything. Move all of this down to deal with that. All right. Best backs away. Realizing that Flash is on top of that. Pretty cool little game here, honestly. I'm I'm really enjoying this one. This is this is the best game of the series so far for sure. Not because just because we are going a little bit later, but because there's been so much action now. Flash is in an interesting position. He's got a lot of tanks in the back that aren't gonna be shooting in this fight. So zealots are gonna run straight up on top of this. Do we get a good storm? Oh, an excellent storm on top of these tanks here. Hard to catch the entire engagement in just one screen's view. So I'm gonna back out with a big zoom. See if we can see everything. A lot of SCVs here in the middle are mining. A good another round of zealots are gonna come forward. Let's see if we can get in range of the minerals to actually throw down a storm on this. Because if you just put down, like click one of the mineral fields and get a storm, then you can kill like all these workers right there. He's gonna go for it. Zealots diving on top of these tanks. He goes ahead and picks off the science vessel just now. Is getting on top of all of this. There's not enough rallies here for Flash. Flash is being pushed back. His tanks in the back line are being picked off now. Oh my god, there's going to be a storm here. Ooh, the storm. Rushes eight SCVs with one storm. And Flash has been broken in the center. I don't think he can recover from this. 31 SCVs remain. But he's mining on one base. Just one base, whereas, of course, best mining on two. This is rough. Flash is going to retake this area. Adding on more tanks, keeping everything split up a little bit better this time. Hard to get any storms that are going to be worth much in this situation. One Templar gets picked off. A second going to go down. Really nice pick off there for Flash. Just two Vultures for two Templar insane value insane value can he actually run forward and get another one um i think it's definitely the right call there's only a few dragoons in this army and look at that just great value out of these units more mines being thrown down tanks are set up much closer this time they can all start to fire as the engagement happens let's see if best can crack it flying in here Lots of zealots. It's looking like a pretty solid round hole, though. The square peg does not fit. And Flash will hold off a little bit longer. Best is not expanding behind this. Not growing any further. He really wants to shut this down. He wants to end it as quickly as he can now. Coming forward. With another bunch of zealots. Dragging some good mines into this stuff. But he's only got dragoons left. And he's not cracking through. Really surprised that we don't see another base just yet. The center left is about to mine out. He's so close to the mineral patches though. If he can just get another Templar down here with some energy. He can kill these SCVs. Well, there's really not many actually mining right now. Which is kind of crazy. Plus three is about to finish. Oh man, if Flash just holds on till plus three, he's going to have a distinct advantage. It's 29 workers to 42. The income right now for Flash is dismal, but his supply is much better. 
84. But you have to take into account the 12 extra workers here for best. And the fact that this is Terran. Oh my god, that was so many Templar. <gasps> so many Templar just went down. The fact that this is Terran mech with plus three about to finish. The fact that the uh, supplies are this close is brutal for best. He finally goes for this Nexus in bottom left. I feel like this is a bit overdue. We are going to, you know, mine out here. It's going to be a while before this mines out. This as well. Not going to mine out for quite some time. Tanks coming down with the vultures to push everything back. A lot of these vultures are badly injured, though. Very badly injured. So they die in like one or two hits. Best is getting some mining going. Down here in the bottom left. But Flash is pushing into the rally point. He's getting into a very nice position where he can start to assault the front. And then moving down actually towards bottom left. So that's interesting. Just placing mines here to make things difficult. To make it hard for Best to rally to here. And then... Heading down to the bottom left, but Bess is going to clear those mines out. He's not being, you know, skipping on observers or anything. Not skipping on observers. He's got tanks to maybe hit over this wall. I don't think he can actually hit anything over here, though. So maybe, I, I don't know. These tanks seem a little bit fun, funny to me. They're placed over there uh, against that wall, but regardless, Flash is going to start to push into here. Best cannot allow this to happen. He has to break this push. Breaking it more efficiently is very important at the moment. He's actually 20 supply ahead. 30 supply ahead. No. 20 supply ahead. Oh, the EMP could be massive. He's only got two more seconds to wait. EMP. Oh! Oh! Every single Templar loses its energy moments before this fight occurs. If we can pinpoint a moment here where Flash uh, takes the edge, I would say it's that one. That is the moment where Flash was able to get the EMP on those Templar. Right before this battle, we're going to be forced to make Archons with a lot of these Zealots. And the tank line is deep. It is so deep. We actually need something extra, something like Storm to help us break through, but we just don't have it. To try to drag some mines into these tanks. One Archon here at the front. Couple of Storms being thrown up, but the Dragoons are melting, and GG is called. Flash gets in here to the bottom left, kills off all the probes, and takes this game away. What a crazy, crazy match. I'm actually surprised that both players, well, especially Best, was able to hang on with all the pressure that was going on here. And then that Flash was able to hang on to the middle while Best just had, you know, overwhelming numbers breaking through that position. Wild, wild game to see. This entire series was worth it just for this game, in my personal opinion. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's jump on into our next game. Well, that last game kind of tore up my vocal cords, I gotta say. Crazy, crazy back and forth. It's like we're getting some communication here between Best and Flash. Let me see if I can pull up in real time some translations here for you guys. Oh, I don't even see Flash on the ladder anymore. Oh, there he is. He's like number 29 right now. So has slipped a little bit in the overall rating. But, uh, you know, that can be part of just, you know, going up against um, drop hackers and that sort of thing. Best said you did a good job and Flash said no. Best said speed, why are you so fast? And Flash said I have a lot of stuff, too much, a lot. I think that's what it said. Let me go ahead and throw it into chat GPT. See if we can get an even better analysis.
I, I tend to find this is a lot better. Seems like it's pretty much the same. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I just, I really like to see what these guys are saying. And I didn't notice that there was a chat log between the two of them before this game. So I apologize. We're back. We've got Cybernetic Core here. Just a pretty standard opener from Flash. He does pull all three off of the gas. Although a little bit slower than in previous games. Not quite as optimized. But that's fine. Like I said, most players don't pull all three off the gas anyway. But Flash, being Flash, being who he is, likes to get that little extra tiny bit of an edge. And we can't blame him for it. We, we love him for it. Those tiny details are sometimes what make or break you in these games. So, uh, interesting. Bess is actually going to build the Nexus before the Dragoon. So this is a very fast Nexus. They're like a 19 Nexus or a 20 Nexus. Um, maybe even 18 Nexus. That is something different. I haven't really seen that much. You can see he's got way too much gas because he did that. Usually you would go Goon, Range, then you get the Nexus a little bit later. Um, but here... He ended up using all those minerals and then was mining the gas for a lot longer. Maybe there's a better optimization that you could do where you mine a little bit less gas or you mine gas like a little bit later and you get the Nexus a little bit sooner uh, and you don't end up with this huge amount of extra gas. But let's see what he does with the gas. He's going to end up throwing down a robotics facility and he's probably just going to play defensive with the goons. He's actually sending it out to go scout, of course. Uh, but the second gun will be here on the ramp, hopefully, by the time this vulture comes. A vulture expand, finally, from Flash. That is something to note. I haven't seen that quite yet. He's gone for a bunch of vultures. And he's getting speed, so we're going to try for a run-by. Uh, usually, you'll get mines because you're afraid of the potential for DT. Uh, mine's just getting that upgrade first will save you from a lot of different DT openers. But he's about to finish the speed. Will he see it? I think he's going to see the speed finish. And as soon as he sees speed finish, we're going to see an instant wall thrown down by that. So important to get this wall down. And look at that. See, the speed does nothing. So you can see why a lot of Terran players actually favor the mines opener rather than the speed but regardless it's gonna be okay he will be throwing down a starport for a drop that's kind of expected though best should know that that's a there's a good chance he's gonna do something like that um engineering bay coming up here we're gonna see a bunch of mines thrown down out and about on the map as you can see you actually don't really need a tank this early when you've got uh, vultures and especially when you've got mines uh, and you're just throwing them out around the map the protoss player can't do much because they do have to wait until this observer comes out and they can start to clear the map uh, if they don't they could just walk into a few mines and ruin their whole career so you need to sit back and wait and that has allowed Flash to add a lot more things. Because if you're just building tanks... Oh, he's going to catch these dragoons here. Oh, I don't like this mine. Okay, the mine's good if you can dodge the damage. Actually, he dodges it pretty well, but he does lose one vulture. You might as well just shoot that down, in my opinion. Um, if you're going to get the surround like that, and that's there's that many vultures. No real point in making the mine. But... He goes for it anyway. He's going to get some more mines out and about on the map. He's going to come in and see the dropship as well. So you're already kind of expecting this is best. But now that he sees it and confirms with his own eyes, uh, I think he's definitely going to be able to shut this down. Except over here. You know what? This could be bad. We need to get that shuttle out quick. Because if he drops vultures here, you can't get through with the dragons. You have to kill your own pylon. Which is super annoying. 
And yeah, what I was saying, you know, you don't need tanks. And if you don't need tanks in the early game, and you can just build vultures, building tanks costs a lot more money. Building vultures is cheap. It allows you to build a lot more buildings while you're building all your SCVs and stuff. Um, yeah, the upgrades are cheaper too. Cheaper than the siege tank upgrade. Of course, there's two of them, but um, yeah, just a little cheaper. So, Reaver going to drop here or some uh, dragons going to drop there. Pretty expected. Best knows this is coming, so he will, of course, set up preparations for that. Into the main base. That's going to get shut down. Ouch. Yikers. That is painful. Coming in with a few vultures. But everything is locked down tight. And Flash looks like he's going to just throw out a CC. What are we doing? You're actually going to go for a CC here. Um, that would be wild. Since he hasn't been making tanks this whole time, he has very few tanks. Got a pretty decent set of mines around his base, around uh, best base, but I don't know if he can afford to hold a third right now. Eight minutes, 28 seconds. He's going to start to move forward and take his choke. And that means he could potentially try to take this base. Meanwhile, Bess is looking to take a fourth. We've got five factories. And we're going to get uh, plus one done in just a moment. Is he going to start the science facility soon? And plus two? Or will he wait and just get plus one armor? I think the plus one armor is probably a better choice. But he's already got the starport. It's going to be tempting to just throw down that science facility and get the plus two a little bit faster. Bring down some mines everywhere. He's aware of the fact there's a shuttle on the map. There could be a reaver or two in a shuttle flying around right now. Mines are still being cleared. It's taking a lot of time here from best to just clear out all these mines. Shuttle moving through the middle of the map. Trying to avoid getting spotted. As he sees those mines, he turns away just to make sure that Flash doesn't see that coming. I think Flash may be aware. Third CC. Going to start soon, but we are 9 minute 40. It's no longer quite as crazy fast as it was before. But I like this more modern style from Flash. Look at he's He's playing Vulture and Expand into 5 Factory plus... Uh, Five factory third base. That I mean that's that's about as modern as it gets, right? This is this is how all our Terran players uh, are facing the the best style, the snow style of play with Reaver, uh, shuttle, and all that good stuff. What he's pushing? Um, I don't know about this. This is wild. Uh, we're gonna have a wraith. To maybe shut down the shuttle. But there's so many units for best right now. I just, I cannot see how this is going to end up working. We've got two shuttles, two reavers, four zealots inside. The wraith is there, but I don't, it, like, it's not going to shut this down completely. Best going to go for a counter. And I mean, the nexus falls, yes, but how can we hold against this counter? More mines are going to get thrown down. This is a weird one, guys. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Some tanks are moving around. He's pulling back the third. He's managed to deny the, the fourth. But his third... Oh, my... Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> the two Reavers here are not even able to get hit. Ah, uh, he drops the two Reavers right in the middle of all those tanks. He kills four tanks pretty much for free and the wraith does manage to escape back home but you can just see how weak it was at what it picking away at the shuttle so slowly while the reavers are dealing their damage in less than a few seconds ay 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 what a wild move from flash there to try and kill the fourth but everything kind of gets reset the tanks die um the army goes back home and Flash saturates his third. So was that a win for Flash? 
I can't really say. I feel like it was a loss, honestly, a net loss. Because all he did was slow down the fourth base a little bit. And he ended up slowing down his own third base by quite a bit as well. About the same amount, I would say. Well, maybe not quite. But he lost, you know, five, six tanks at the same time. So slowing down the fourth Nexus by a little bit. I mean, we've already got a fifth Nexus on the way here. It's going to be done in a moment. And throwing away a bunch of tanks. This is going to hurt his future timing. He does have... The science facility now and double upgrades this is i love i love to see it i love to see the adaptation adaptation is in flash changing his style you know switching it up but this giant drop flying into the main base right now is craziness this is the brand of craziness that best loves how are we gonna get big hits from these Reavers, good storms on the ramp. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know we had a bunch of Templar in there. That is brutal damage. This is really well done by our Protoss player. Oh my god. Oh my god. So much damage right now. He's going to go after the uh, shuttles with this Wraith. So the Wraith finally getting some use. But even more SCVs are falling. This is crazy, crazy good damage. And behind this, 71 probes and, you know, 170 supply. Soon to be 200, 200. It, like, it's coming very, very soon. Uh, the point when Best has just max supply. He's going to drop Reavers on top of this tank. Get another tank kill, but the Reaver will go down. Oh, another SCV goes down as well. That's super frustrating. He's only at 47 SCVs now. And his main base has just been ravaged. That is some sick modern play. Great, great stuff from Bess. Just flying in. Dropping everything in the main. And then putting the Templar right there. To storm the ramp. Ugh. Oh, it's so dirty. It is just filthy, filthy Protoss play. But you gotta respect it. The way that Best does it, it's just, he he does it like no one else can. Like, absolutely no one else can. When you watch Snow play with Reavers, and how beautiful it is, and how, like, impressive it is, I feel the same way when I see Best controlling uh, speed shuttles and Templar and uh, masses of ground units. Like, he just, he does it so damn well. And Flash is really hurting because of that. He is suffering at the moment. He will be getting EMP soon. He's been scanning and there's nothing out of the ordinary coming from Best just yet. It's just pure and simple. Gateway man with lots of shuttles. More gateways up in the top left. Another rally point about to be established. I like the four cannon. I think four cannons is like the perfect number when it comes to zealot or to vulture run buys for me three sunkins does the trick if you're playing against mech and they're doing a lot of vulture run buys everywhere three sunkins is the magic number it's the number of sunkins where the vultures just melt and if you stack your your drones or make them you know hard to hit by running away um they it won't even be worth it they'll lose so many vultures so quickly that uh, you're gonna you're gonna save most of your drones or at least kill every single vulture um two and one sunken it just does nothing it feels like it feels like everything just dies and the vultures run away but as soon as you hit that magic number it really does seem to do it seems to hit a little different that's an artosis pylon if i've ever seen one wow thank goodness Pylons have 600 HP in this game. We get to see things like this. Protoss players think that these things are invincible. Right up until they're not. Really good supply is here now for Flash. He's got 2-2 two, two with 3-3 three, three on the way. Bunch of Goliaths being made. An amazing tank count. He's absolutely got a good shot in this bit in this game. But he really does need to prevent this base from going down over here. He seriously 
needs to stop this extra rally point from being set up. Ooh, big EMP. Huge EMP. Glad I caught that. That's really important. Um, did hit one of these shuttles as well. So that's going to be a little bit softened up when this fight comes in. I actually thought that they were going in right there, but he turns around at the last moment. We have air weapons on the way. Maybe a fake out from best. Could be that he's getting ready for a later game transition. Here we go. Diving forward. D Matrix on the front. Oh my god. Zealot Bombs doing amazing work there. Crushing through a lot of this army. And he should just turn around and head back now. Yeah. So many mines. So many. Oh. Ugh. So many mines in that area. That were just triggered on top of the tanks. I know my good friend Ozzy Dahaki says that mines are a Protoss unit. And he cannot change my mind. <clears throat> and I think he's absolutely correct. It's so brutal. When Zealots are getting dropped on top of them. It's like the, the Protoss players are looking for them and using them. As uh, their own, really. It's like these dragons are just going to get wiped out. I don't like this engagement whatsoever. This is a terrible engage here. But Bess is maxing out so fast. Fourth base is going to be online in a moment. So we can still accelerate through this game. However, the gateway count is insane. That is so many gateways. He is already maxed again. Flash just breaching 150 supply is going to have a very hard time making any more progress. But with 3-3, three, three, anything is possible, my friends. Anything is possible. Here comes some uh, speed shuttles to ruin the day here for Flash. Let's see if he can gun down those Templar as they pop out. Looks like the Templar are going to be kept inside the shuttles and move to hit this base. And he actually kill a bunch of SCVs here, dropping that worker count by about four or five. Not uh, not the greatest storms there, but some pretty good dodges by Flash. I'm going to keep the majority of his workers uh, in high hit, hit points. It's like quite a few of them were damaged, though. Tanks starting to move forward towards this upper left. And Best is just going to hold on. He's just going to try to stay alive here. Do the best that he can. Take the least damage he can. While kind of softening up this army and making sure that Flash can't get any more bases. Flash is moving up here towards the top left. Some good storms are softening up the units as they try to shove forward. Making life uh, for Flash hard right now. Science Vessel here actually needs to get up on the high ground so we can see what we're shooting at. Start to hit these gateways. Hit that pylon. You know what? If he hit, comes here and hits that pylon, he could take this base. He could kill this very, very easily. Best is going to hit the flank, though. The rear of the army, or I guess the center, maybe, of this army. Oh, my goodness. Way too clumped up with these tanks on the left-hand side. And Best is going to take huge advantage of that. If there was a bit of a better spread here for Flash... He almost might have held this base, but he is not going to hold this. He's going to lose almost all the SCVs at this uh, area. He might actually lose all of them if the Archons... Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Mines are a Protoss unit, guys. You cannot change my mind. GG as Flash taps out of this game. Okay, guys. Final game of the night. Here we've got best in the top center. We're back on Apocalypse for our final map of the night. But it's been a great series overall. This has been a very memorable series, honestly. A lot of great games in here. A lot of very scrappy games, but you have to admit flash is learning dude this guy he is absorbing information every time he hits one of these strong protoss players he's just picking up 
on what he needs to do to take games off of these guys and he's managing to take a few games but every time he plays he's getting closer you know there's not a, a whole lot of situations that he's dominating in but he's managing to slowly eke out better and better positions out of these early games and mid game situations and he's starting to air towards the more modern style which i like but with his own flair of course we've got another gasless fast expand out of flash with just one marine being quite greedy here able to sneak out a lot of extra stuff the gas geyser the bunker of course the command center without building any additional marines there's two probes on the map i think that was from scouting um in two different directions i don't know what happened here not sure something was going on without that probe but it's being sent back to mine now and we will have mining going on in the natural for flash as well factory has been started and it's just a regular opening here for best once again looks like he didn't delay the dragoon this time and the range instead getting dragoon in range before the nexus a little bit more standard way to play from best this game yeah this is um that's the first goon over there. There's the second goon. <clears throat> so not um, trying any of that fancy stuff. We're going to see a star port. Yeah, usually the follow-up from Gasless is double factory, but he was waiting quite some time before throwing anything down in the main. So with just one factory, definitely going to be a star port follow-up. I think we'll likely see a tank be built, but unlikely to have... Okay, siege mode. There it is, huh? So he's going to go siege mode with one tank. Siege up here. Push back the Protoss tax collectors at the front. This guy's right here. They're going to be pushed away in a moment. And then he should be going into vulture production because we're going to have a dropship out here before you know it. Three goons dealing a lot of damage. It's one SCV per goon. So putting a fourth one on there, eventually that will get to max HP. But going to come out and start to poke. This is the first time we've seen Flash poke with the tank. He will bring that back out of range though. That's the fourth SCV. And siege mode will finish. Good to actually drop this. You want to get the barracks on the ground. Gonna back up a little bit more. This is what he's been doing every game is getting into range and then backing up. Kind of funny. Kind of interesting because I feel like if you brought the goons back, you could actually hit the bunker for a little while. But he's not going to worry about that well he's actually gonna pick up the tank wow so leaving the front completely open he's got two marines that's all he's defending with is two marines is gonna take the tank to the other side of the map that is crazy he's gonna get over here right before the observer this is a fantastically timed out build from flash super risky but you gotta take risks if you want to get ahead in this game. See if you can pick a probe or two. Not able to. Lay down some mines in the main. Oh. <laughs> team kill. Doesn't have one on there, but he definitely he definitely team killed uh, his own vulture there. That's a little bit rough. Delaying the mining in main, the main quite a long time. Pretty solid drop from Flash. And how will he follow it up? 
Well, he's adding on extra factories, and he seems to really have picked up on the fact that you need to go for some aggression against Protoss these days. You can't just sit back and wait for double upgrades to kick in. Hope to do well in the late game. Very important to get out and actually put some pressure on the toss, and that's what he's done so far. He's pulled away probes, forced probes away. Laid down some mines, kind of delayed that that mining in the main base. And now gone into pretty good count of factories. Five factories, though? That's more of a third base type of game. Right? It's, it's like, yeah, you probably want to attack. But remember, he went six factory uh, in a previous game. And just constantly pushing across the map was not able to do what he needed to do or, you know, kill the base that he needed to kill uh, against best in that game. Now going to come over to the third. Tries to get a probe or two. Not able to find anything. Natural is sewn up tight. Tries to throw down a mine just to get a potential cheeky connection, but no. That's all shut down by best. And the science facility starts. Uh, this is going to be a third base. We'll go out here and try to take a third base pretty soon. We'll see if Best can crack it. Because this is the style that most Terran players will use against Best. And Best is the... Unironically best person... At... Uh, breaking open these Terran positions. We need to get these tanks out here. If the tanks are sitting back here when the engagement happens there... You're going to be pretty sad as a Terran. We're going to have... Uh, probably barracks landed here with a few supply depots and a lot of turrets behind. The vultures are out there causing a little bit of havoc. Making sure that... You know, Bess is kept on his toes. Nice connection on a mine. Uh, over on those two dragoons, but... He won't be able to stop the probe from taking this base, I don't think. Oh, well, looks like we had a pause. Something going on. I'm not sure what that is. I'm probably not going to translate that. Something like go or sorry, I had to take a bathroom break or something. I don't know. The door ring, the doorbell rang or whatever. But we're back here to the action. 56 workers to 61. Let's take a look at the upgrades. Plus one. Uh, two one is on the way. No upgrades thus far for Protoss, but they're about to kick in. And best just setting up. He's just getting ready. For a bust. He needs to get a fourth base online. A few more gateways out. Some shuttles to the front. He's gonna have storm soon. And he's just he's just gearing up for the attack into this base. Even though we know it's not you know maybe the best move in the world, maybe it's not the optimal way to play. We know that this is what Best likes to do. He will try to crack this. Mark my words. Unless he's had a complete change of heart. He's, you know, changed as a person. He went and did some meditation or something. Like, silent retreat. Altered his personality. I don't think we're going to see him just sit and build more bases. He is going to try and crack this. Well, first he may try to dive into the main base and cause some chaos. No. Backing away. I think this is going to be his target. It's not enough supply depots. We also need mines. We need mines like all through here. Right there. If you put mines here, it doesn't really matter. The dragon just kill them all. Before the engagement even happens. You need them like right there. Right there. And even maybe with a tank right here. To make it so the dragons can't come down easily and kill them. One probe making its way down to the bottom left-hand corner. Looks like he will take another base uh, behind this, but kind of kind of more of a placeholder, I think. We're getting this army together, that 200-200 supply army. Now at 12 minutes, we're just about to hit that mark. 69 probes, a pretty good supply of probes. 
on the map right now. Where's the dropship? Did the dropship eventually go down or something? We're going to have to picture and picture that because I did not see where that drop ended up. No, there it is right there. Okay, the drop did not go down. Plus two. A plus one is done for Flash. We're rapidly approaching that 200 supply. It's not actually making anything out of a lot of these gateways right yet. He's going to get that rolling pretty soon, though. Probe's being transferred down to bottom left. I'm going to be shocked if he waits for Flash to push. I really thought that he was going to... Oh my gosh, that is so many shuttles. Five shuttles into the main. Flash is so ready for this, though. Is this actually going to work out for him? Great storm there on the right-hand side. Some good storms on the mineral line as well. Oh, the tanks get picked off, but there's still so many vultures here. Great EMP on a lot of these Templar. They don't really have much energy left. But maybe able to come over here and drop those. Maybe we can hide for a little moment and then drop over at this base or maybe at this base either one would be pretty strong everything does get cleaned up like 10 maybe scvs go down and a few tanks and vultures do fall this is just gonna sit here for now I'd like to see him build a wraith just to finish that off one marine here kind of hilarious i don't know what that's doing looks like the shuttle did die yeah this guy just what a loner, chilling over there by himself. We're going to pull the trigger on an attack here, best. We've got three speed shuttle, four speed shuttle. A lot of zealots to work with. Is it time to pull the trigger on an, on an attack? That's so many Templar. Oh my goodness, he's going to actually go for this. No. I'm not going to try and dive on the Templar right now, surprisingly. Observer speed is done. And chase these vultures around the map. Make sure to pick off all of the mines. Oh, not quite getting all of them. Might end up eating some mine hits a little bit later on. Is maxed out now. 14 and a half minutes. Is it time for our best to go in for the attack? Flash is starting to move forward. It's been spotted now by the observer. Oh gosh, this is really rough. Mine's going to connect here. Oh, wow. Four Templar just went down to that. Oh, five. Five Templar. Jeez, that is significant. That is really, really significant in this game. Four turrets here. Wow, so many turrets, actually. That is wild. That is a crazy number of tur turrets, but it's not going to save the SCVs here. SCVs. Going down predictable paths on either side of these factories is going to be easy to hit with Storm. So a lot of SCVs do go down. Back down to 50 uh, SCVs. And maybe even hitting natural as well. Oh, this is bad. Ooh, a nice storm there. Really a fantastic storm to soften up the rest of these SCVs. Look at how damaged most of these are. They are so badly hurt. And he finds a little spot here where you can't be hit by a Goliath. That is super annoying right now. Quite a lot of forces. Ooh, nice dodge there. Quite a lot of forces in the middle. More probes being transferred to the bottom left. Setting up another gateway outpost here in the bottom left. But not a huge amount of gateways there yet. Hitting that... 200 supply once again. Best is starting to get a bank. So he's going to try and come forward and break this position. I think he has enough to break. Although there are a lot of tanks to the north of this fight. More storms are going to come up. Can he start to blanket the vultures and tanks? Great storms on these vultures. But the dragoons are really starting to splatter. That is only Templar following this up. So... An EMP on that would be great. Also, just a groups of vultures would be amazing to clean that. All right. Looks like they're just going to be let alone, left alone. He's going to be able to get out of there. This uh, Templar shuttle finally went down. And the base is up. We've got another base here as Flash. I feel like... I don't know. 
I feel like Best is playing a little lackluster this game. I'm curious what's going on with him. But that last push did not look very Best-like. The way that he was mounting this high ground, usually he's got a nice spread where zealots are trailing in from the side. You know, maybe he would be coming along this side, coming in from the back, spreading things out a lot more, moving the dragons forward. He kind of just wandered into the tank lines and took a lot of splash damage on his dragoons. So, a little bit curious how best is playing this one out. He's going to be clearing mines once again. He's been doing a good job of that and doing a great job of expanding and just growing on the map throughout this game. He's looking very scary. Still, plus three mech cannot be underestimated. Or cannot be overestimated, excuse me. I think that makes more sense. Ooh, another drop over here. Gonna kill a lot of these turrets. He should just lift. Don't allow the CC to fall, please. EMP's going down. Hitting a lot of these Templar. Opening up the way for the Vultures to just, just clear everything. Because if you've got Storm, it makes it a little bit hard for the Vultures to clear. But once it's just Vultures, or once it's just um, Zealots versus the Vultures, then the Vultures clear up easily. Our missile turret's going to be put down, but this is so close to the Protoss base. So easy to harass this area. It's a bit rough. Got a lot of bases here for best 3,000 minerals in the bank, but both players are now maxed. Another drop into this base. More SCVs are going to go down. Dropping that supply to just 49 workers. And then taking an okay trade against this army, but... Best is being pushed back on the other side. He's losing a lot of his Dragoons for not much compensation. Picking up some more Templar here as he clears out the main. Oh my goodness, a lot of kills over here. I should think not many SCVs remain. 28 SCVs remain? Oh my god, I might have to picture in picture that last drop because holy... 30 SCVs total is pretty wild. And Flash is slowly pushing forward over to this base, but where are all the vultures? The vultures are just gone. I think they were pulled maybe up to top center to actually clear. The Archon went down. It'd be cool to see how many kills was on, were on that. Uh, tanks are setting up in range of the Nexus, but... The Zealot Bombs are a bit too strong. All these tanks are going to end up going down. Good uh, D-Matrix there. Keep that tank alive. He kills the Nexus in center left. He's likely to kill the third base Nexus. But we should see Best just bomb everything. And he's still got 2,500 minerals in the bank. Whereas Flash is barely mining. 34 workers is pretty rough supply of workers. I mean, he's got hardly anything here. Another huge group of shuttles coming into this fresh base. The only good mining base right now. A lot of these are pretty low. Trying to get more kills on these SCVs. There's like a, all 30 of them are right there. Nearly. Shuttles heading back. I guess it wasn't the full uh, army in those shuttles. or Not all the shuttles were, were full there. A lot of them are going to run back, pick up some more uh, Zealots and Templars. As Flash continues this push, he's just relentless with this attack. Not stopping at all. One Iota is continuing to push forward here, but is it going to be enough? More Zealots are going to be dropped on top of all this. More Templar are going to be throwing down their storms. Tank line is deep, but many of these tanks are deep in the red. Which makes them easy targets for the Zealots and the Zealot Bombs. Dragons coming from behind this army. I'm not sure. Oh, they must have come from down here. I'm going to be hitting this from the back. And finishing off quite a few of these tanks. And as the Nexus goes down, the probes will evacuate. But the army of Flash is going to go down. He's dropped to 92 supply. So a lot of this... Uh, was predicated this the strategy was predicated on this 
space or this uh, push being able to hold this high ground for a lot longer. Flash has lost so many SCVs. He's not going to be able to remax very quickly. He's barely able to produce out of all of his factories. You can see only a few vultures are making right now and his money is below 100. So he can't even make one tank at the moment. He's got some SCV mining going, but it is kind of pathetic at this point. He's really trying to get something going, anything that he can. So that he can try to work towards a remax, but Bess is about to max. He's finally spent his bank, but he's already almost maxed at 190 supply. He's looking very scary. Eight more zealots pop out, and he's just going to go across the map. How are you going to hold on with 114 supply? And you don't even... Holding on is not even great, very good right now, honestly. You need to do more than that. You need to hold, not only hold on, but take another base. And how in earth are you going to do that against what Best has here? He's got even a ton of Archons in this. Well, two Archons in this fight. He could be, you know, picking up Archons and dropping them as well. They don't actually drag mines, so they're not that great, but they do soak damage. And uh, if you drop them on top of a tank, of course, they're going to draw aggro. Still only 34 SCVs for Flash. His income is dismal. And it's about to get worse. We're almost out of minerals over here. Ooh, a storm on most of his own shuttles, but I don't think it's going to matter. That's so many zealots dropping out on top of all this. The storm should be insane. Great storm there, killing a lot of those vultures, and the tanks will be overwhelmed. Best going to break his way through here and still has 160 supply remaining. Flash backing up, but to what? He's got three tanks over here and 66 supply to work with. GG is called flash taps out and best is victorious a great great series between these two though i'm looking forward to seeing more because flash has been evolving like many of you were predicting in the comments flash is learning here he's improving very quickly taking games off of strong protoss opponents but still struggling with the new meta Looking forward to seeing his progress. And if you are as well, make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. We're going to be paying attention to him very, very closely in the run-up to the next season of ASL. And maybe even checking him out in the KCM. We'll see what happens with that. But for now, I'm going to take off, head to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow.